हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल सी द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ लिनियर मोशन एंड इन दैट वन ऑफ द इजीएस्ट पार्ट वेरिएबल एक्सेलरेशन वेरिएबल एक्सेलरेशन मींस व्हाट एक्सेलरेशन इज चेंजिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम मींस ऑलवेज आइदर इन द इक्वेशन इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस 2t प्लस फाइव और एनीथिंग ये विल बी इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी वेन टी इज चेंजिंग एक्सेलरेशन इज चेंजिंग और वी विल बी फाइव टी स्क्वेर प्लस टू टी प्लस वन इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस और एक्स विल बी और यस विल बी डिस्प्लेसमेंट अगेन ए टी क्यू प्लस फोर टी स्क्वेर प्लस फाइव टी प्लस एट सच टाइप ऑफ इक्वेशन आर गोइंग टू बी देर देन हाउ टू सॉल्व दीज एग्जाम्पल्स सो ही आर ऑलवेज ये बिल विल गेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी दैट्स वाई दीज आर द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ वेरिएबल एक्सेलरेशन एंड इफ सपोज द प्रॉब्लम इफ समथिंग इट इज लाइक दिस यू विल हैव टू इंटीग्रेट एंड यू विल हैव टू सॉल्व इफ वी इज गिव वन देन इन दैट केस फॉर गेटिंग ए यू विल हैव टू डिफ्रेंशिएट फॉर ए डिफ्रेंशिएट एंड फॉर गेटिंग एक्स वील हैव टू इंटीग्रेट In first case, on integration only we we'll have to get, and when x is there, then it is very simple. Only differentiate. If you differentiate, you will get v, and again on differentiation you will get y. So probably the most simple part of the mechanics. So it is always a gift. The student who is knowing differentiation, integration will solve this example easily. Then we'll go through few examples. so very first example it is something like this that the acceleration of particle in rectilinear motion is given by a is equal to 3t square plus 2 initial initial velocity and displacements are 2 and 3 meters respectively find position velocity and acceleration of the particle at t is equal to 2 seconds uh, position means displacement position means displacement and again so what is given ये इज गिवन ये इज इक्वल टू थ्री टी स्क्वेर प्लस टू दैट मीन्स ऑन इंटीग्रेशन वील गेट वी एंड अगेन ऑन इंटीग्रेशन वील गेट एक्स ऑल्सो एंड ऑलवेज इन सच स्टेटमेंट द हिंट विल बी वॉट सम कंडीशन विल बी गिवन दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू इंटीग्रेट सो ये इज नथिंग बट इट इज गोइंग टू बी डी वी बाय डी टी इट इज इक्वल टू थ्री टी स्क्वेर प्लस टू एंड If I separate the variables, three t square plus two t dt on right hand side, then integrate. So on integration, I'll get v. V is equal to. So it is going to be three t cube by three means t cube plus two t plus c. And for getting this c, the condition will be given. Initially, initial velocity means initially. When t is equal to zero, this is initially v is two meters per second. If we put this value in Abu equation, what I'll get? V is equal to two. When t is zero, means it is t cube is zero plus this two t is also zero plus c. Hence, c is equal to two. So that's why what we'll get? V is equal to I'll get. This equation three uh, t cube plus two t plus c means two. So this is the equation one. So it is the equation of velocity. Then how we'll get the equation of displacement or position? So for that also, what we have to do? V means dx by dt. It is dx by dt. It is equal to t cube plus two t. Plus two, and if I separate the variable t cube plus two t plus two, it is dt. And on integration, I'll get x. X will be t raised to four by four. Its integration plus t square by two means two two will get cancelled. Plus 
टू टी प्लस सी अगेन द सेम कंडीशन यू पुट द इनिशियल वेलोसिटी एंड डिस्प्लेसमेंट डिस्प्लेसमेंट इज थ्री मीन्स वेन टी इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री हेन्स वॉट विल गेट एक्स इज थ्री दिस इज जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो प्लस सी हेन्स सी इज इक्वल टू थ्री एंड ये वी पुट दिस इक्वेशन इन दिस इक्वेशन टी रेस टू फोर बाय फोर प्लस टी स्क्वेर प्लस टू टी प्लस थ्री दिस इज द इक्वेशन टू मीन्स लाइक दिस वी गेट थ्री इक्वेशन फॉर ए फॉर वी एंड फॉर एक्स नाउ वट इज आस्ट पोजिशन मीन्स एक्स वेलॉसिटी एंड एक्सेलरेशन वेन टी इज इक्वल टू टू सेकंड देन हाउ वी कैन गेट नाउ वेन T is equal to two seconds. Two seconds. First position. Position means position means it is x. And from equation two, this value is going to be what? Two raised to four by four plus two raised to two plus two into two. Plus three, and if we calculate, the position is going to be sixteen by four. Eight, sixteen by four, four, four plus four, eight plus four, twelve plus three. So the position is going to be fifteen meters. So this first answer will be fifteen meters. Then second, velocity. Velocity is what? velocity it is v and v is going to be t cube means 2 cube plus 2 into 2 plus 2 so it is going to be v is going to be 8 plus 4 12 plus 2 14 meter per second means v is 14 meter per second and without doing anything some students can get two marks direct equation is given and when t is equal to 2 acceleration is asked so what will be acceleration so in the beginning also students can write this answer 3 into 2 square plus 2 it is going to be that a is going to be like this 2 square 4 In two, three, it is twelve plus. So, three t square four into three twelve plus two, it is again fourteen meters per second square. So, like this, easily by differentiation or integration, we can get position, velocity. and acceleration so again we'll go through few other examples second example the car moves in straight line such that for a short time its velocity is given so the velocity is v is going to be 3 t square plus 2 t where t is in seconds determine its position and acceleration when t is equal to 3 seconds when t is equal to 0 yes is equal to 0 that is also mentioned so out of this one answer is very simple at least acceleration so that you can get easily first so from this so from v if we get a is equal to dv by dt whatever is simple you can do it very fastly it is 6 t plus 2 hence a is equal to so when t is equal to 3 seconds we have to get 6 into 3 plus 2 plus 2 means a is going to be 18 plus 2 20 meters per second square that means acceleration is this is what the acceleration which is asked Correct. And for getting 
displacement or position v means dx by dt dx by dt or you can write ds by dt also here s is used that's why i am writing ds by dt is equal to 3t square plus 2t then in this case what we have to do we separate the variable ds is equal to 3t square plus 2t into dt again integrate this in on integration it is yes it is going to be t cube by 3 means t cube plus t square by 2 means t square plus c and again for getting this constant of integration it is mentioned if t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 if t is equal to 0 s is equal to 0 hence if you put these values t 0 this 0 s 0 we will get c is equal to 0 that means yes which is the position it is t cube plus t square and what will be the answer when t is equal to 3 seconds 3 cube plus 3 square so the yes is going to be yes is going to be 27 plus 9 means it is 36 meters and this is what the position so it is the position means like this even though you can calculate acceleration first because it is very simple and then i have calculated the position so like this the problems are going to be very simple so even though if we go for some additional example also and again if displacement is given then it is the gift then it is the gift see how we can solve this example x is going to be t cube minus 6 t square plus 90 plus 5 this is the equation it is the equation of position correct and then from this what is velocity v is going to be dx by dt dx by dt and this is going to be 3 t square minus 12 t plus 9 it is the velocity this is the second equation and the third equation a is what dv by dt dv by dt and what i'll get 60 minus 12 so this is the third equation and now whatever is asked that we can write when t is equal to when t is equal to 5 seconds then what is asked determine velocity and acceleration velocity which is v use this equation 3 into 5 square minus 12 into 5 t is 5 plus 9 means how much it is 25 into 3 75 minus 60 it is 15 15 plus 9 so straight away velocity is going to be 24 that is 15 plus 9 24 meters per second A very simple and acceleration acceleration a is going to be a is going to be 6 into 5 60 minus 12 so that a is going to be 30 minus 12 it is 18 meters per second square so this is always a fist for the student when x is given don't miss differentiate you will get velocity again differentiate you will get acceleration so like this these problems are very simple again we'll have one more example so where acceleration is given initially also we have solved one example of like this when a is equal to given 2 minus 1 then what we have to do so uh, 
for this if we wish to get the velocity dv by dt now straight away i am writing dv by dt means i am taking 2t on right hand side uh, dt and if we differentiate this it is velocity and what is it 2t square by 2 means t square minus t it is the velocity plus c and for that some condition will be given if s is equal to 1 and v is equal to 2 when t is 0 that means when t is 0 what will get v is 2 hence if we put these values in this equation this is 0 this is 0 we will get c is equal to 2 hence the equation of velocity is going to be v is equal to t square minus t plus 2 this is the equation 1 velocity and for getting the position displacement it is x v is dx by dt so it is t square minus t plus 2 it is dt integrated it is x t cube by 3 minus t square by 2 plus 2t two plus c plus c hence what we'll get when t is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 when t is equal to 0 x is equal to 1 hence if you put these values this is 0 this is 0 this is 0 x is equal to 1 means c is equal to 1 so what equation i'll get x is equal to t cube by 3 minus t square by 2 plus 2t plus 1 and this is the equation 2 now what is asked when t is equal to 6 seconds 6 seconds what is asked what is the velocity and position means first we'll go for the velocity velocity means from equation 1 if you see this equation 1 it is t is equal to 6 means 6 square minus 6 plus 2 how much it is this velocity 36 minus 6 means 30 plus 2 it is 32 meters per second this is the velocity and what is the position position means displacement this position is x and from equation 2 if we put these values 6 cube by 3 minus 6 square by 2 plus plus 2 into 6 plus 1 and from this we will get x is equal to x is equal to that is 6 6 raised to 3 divided by 3 72 minus 18 plus 12 plus 1 and we will get 67 67 meters so this is the answer means like this easily we can get the velocity and position so what i'll suggest like this you can try any example when if x is given twice integration if v is given once differentiation once integration and if x is given then only differentiation these problems are very very simple don't miss it thank you